Hello everyone, right here I have a 2019 Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport 1.5 Turbo SRI VX Line Nav. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car and pressing and hold on the lock button, the side mirrors automatically fold in. And upon unlocking and pressing and hold on the unlock button, the side mirrors automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. The SRI VX9 nav trim is fitted with a keyless push button start system as standard. So to start the insignia, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the clutch and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. The Insignia B comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. Standard in the SRI VXI nav trim is a VXI design leather steering wheel with a flat bottom design, contrast stitching around the inner rim, perforated sections on the sides, and sport grips at 10 and 2. Two six-speed transmissions are offered with the 1.5 turbo 165 engine. The choice is between this car's standard manual transmission or an optional automatic transmission. To select reverse for the manual transmission, pull the catch below the gear knob and push the gear lever all the way to left and forward. Front and rear parking sensors are standard on all but the base design and design nav trims. This Insignia Grand Sport is specified with the optional driving assistance pack 4 which gives the car reverse camera. The reverse camera features active guidance signs which can be turned off if chosen to do so. Standard safety features in Insignia Grand Sport include 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability program, traction control, cornering brake control, adaptive brake lights, hill start assist, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, an mobilizer, and dead locking. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. The driving assistance pack 1, which consists of forward collision alert with automatic city emergency braking, following distance indicator, and lane departure warning with lane assist, is standard as well. As mentioned earlier, this car is specified with the optional driving assistance pack 4. This means that this car also has lane change assist with side blind spot alert and rear cross traffic alert. 18 inch 5 spoke alloy rims are present on the SRI VXI nav trim. This insignia Grand Sport rides on Bridgestone to Renza T005 245 45R18 summer tires. Disc brakes are standard, with the front ones being ventilated while the rear ones are solid. The suspension comprises McPherson struts up front and a multi link setup out back. The Insignia is Opel and Vauxhall's D-segment large family vehicle, produced since 2008. It was created to replace both the Signum and the Vectra. Two generations have been produced so far, the Insignia A between 2008 and 2017, and the Insignia B since 2017. Based on the General Motors E2XX platform, 
The Insignia B is the last Opel and Vauxhall product to be developed using GM parts and was released around the time Group PSA bought Opel and Vauxhall. The Insignia B debuted at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show, while sales started in the summer of 2017. Three body styles of the Insignia B were available at launch, a 5 dot Estate marketed as a sports tourer, a 5 dot Hatchback marketed as a Grand Sport, and a 5 dot Rugged Estate marketed as a Country Tourer. A facelift for the Insignia B was revealed in late 2019, and with the facelift, the Country Tourer body style was discontinued. The Insignia B is also sold as a 6th generation Buick Regal in China and North America, as well as a 5th generation Holden Commodore ZB in Australia and New Zealand. While GM will continue to sell the Buick Regal in China after the 2020 model year, even giving it a facelift, 2020 will be the final model year for the North American market Regal as well as the Commodore, as GM will be discontinuing them. Under the bonnet of this Insignia Grand Sport is the B15XFT, 1.5L, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine with direct injection and variable valve timing. It produces 163 horsepower at 5600 rpm and 250 newton meters of torque at 2000 to 4500 rpm. 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 8.9 seconds and the top speed is 138 miles per hour. The fuel tank is 62 liters big and the combined fuel consumption for the Insignia Grand Sport 1.5 Turbo 165 manual is 46.3 miles per gallon. Carbon dioxide emissions is 122 grams per kilometer and the Insignia is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Insignia Grand Sport SRI VXI NAV include automatic manual leveling halogen reflector headlights, automatic wipers, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED front indicators, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, front and rear fog lights, indicators on the front fenders, body-colored door handles and side mirrors, chrome effect front grille bar, chrome effect upper window trim, and the VXI styling pack. Speaker, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, window lock, window controls. All of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. Central locking. Interior brightness adjustment. Headlight level adjustment. This Insignia SRI VXI NAV does get full manual adjustments. This knob controls the seat back. This lever controls the seat height. This lever down here controls the seat position. This one controls the thigh support. And there are a couple of power adjustments for the seat. This one adjusts the inclination. Well, this one adjusts the lumbar support. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
dual zone automatic climate control system, driver side temperature, recirculation, front and rear defrost, on off, fan speed, passenger side temperature, automatic mode, and the climate button brings up your climate control menu on the infotainment display. Right here, you can also adjust the temperature and fan speed. Right below, select your desired mode. And above, automatic, air conditioning, and sync. Sync means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control the temperature for both sides. But if you turn it off, each side will have individual temperature controls. Traction control. Cup holders. Storage. Power outlet. With a cover. Lane Keep Assist System. This button activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop-start feature. If the feature is activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. Parking sensors. And right here is the Insignia's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. The Insignia Grand Sport SRI VXI Nav comes with the Multimedia Navi touchscreen head unit. This system features a 7-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, navigation, and 7 speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that the Insignia uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the main menu, under audio. Right here, your current song playing information with the title. The artist and album will show up here if present. Song duration, album art. Under source, you can select your desired media option. You can go back a song, go for the song, play pause, shuffle. Under menu, you can browse for music. Tone settings, right here you can adjust the bass mid treble, balance fader, preset equalizers, automatic volume, and traffic program. To go back to the home menu, hit the home button. Next up, gallery allows you to view photos and videos on the system if you have a suitable device connected. On the phone, you can dial a number, look at your contacts, call history, Projection is for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems. And the navigation, right here, we are in the maps. Bottom left, you can set up home or set up work address or both. Right up here, you can enter a new destination, recent, favorites, address, points of interest, contacts, and junction. Right up here, your map options with your different views, traffic on map, voice guidance, so on and so forth. And down here, you can zoom in and out. Settings with your time and date, language, radio, vehicle, Bluetooth, and all that. You can even turn off the display right here. Climate brings up your climate control menu once more. Home button, C track, volume and power, and your Bluetooth telephone button. Central locking. As shown earlier, power folding, side mirrors. Wiper controls, volume controls, seat track, multi-information display controls. Up and down goes between the different sub-menus. Left and right goes between the different main menus. Then hit the button in the middle to select. Currently, driving data with the digital speedometer. Trip 1 and trip 2 under the two trip meters, distance traveled, average fuel consumption and average speed. Uh, fuel data with your instant fuel consumption and range. Average fuel consumption, 
timer, and back to your digital speedometer. Next up, remaining oil life, tire pressure monitoring system, following distance, traffic sign memory, your units, tire load, speed warning, and back to your remaining oil life. And lastly, your eco index, top, com top consumers, and economy trend. Light and indicator controls. And this button activates your automatic high beams. Right here, you have your cruise control and speed limiter controls. But apart from that, your heated steering wheel, your um, following distance, voice control, and Bluetooth telephone control. The steering wheel in this car is tilted and telescoping. You adjust it using this lever right here. Storage, front center armrest with storage below. Right in there as well, you can find a couple of USB ports and an auxiliary port. Auto dimming, rear view mirror. LED reading lights, they also double up as your interior lights. This button turns off the interior sensors for the alarm system. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a couple of LED lights. And the driver does get a grip handle. Alright. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, speaker, storage, and the rear seat bags in this insignia do fold. They split 40 20 40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then there are actually a couple of ways to fold the seat bags down. You can use the levers on the sides of the outer two rear headrests or the levers on either sides of the boot. The lever on this side folds down the right seat and the middle seat while the one on that side folds down the left seat. To fold down only the middle seat, use that strap. But just pull it and flip the seat backs down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a tiny bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I got slightly more than this. And about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are quite comfortable as well. If more leg room is needed, there are actually cutouts on the front seat backs that help with additional leg room. Also on the front seat backs are storage pockets. Rear aircon vents, couple of USB ports down there. Rear center armrests with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. Your rear LED reading lights which also doubles up as your rear interior lights.
tankless fuel filling system. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself, locate the Vauxhall badge, push it in, then lift the rear hatch up. 490 litres is the boot space in Insignia Grand Sport with all the rear seats in place. Fold the rear seat backs down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space becomes 1450 litres. On both sides of the boot are hooks, and under the boot floor is the vehicle's tyre repair kit. Adjustable headrests front and rear. Window control, storage, bottle holder, speaker, and the front passenger seat in this insignia does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, including your height adjustment and thigh support. You even have the same powered adjustments on this side, so you have your power inclination and power lumbar support. It is not a big glove box, you only have this area to store items in, but it is LED illuminated. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a couple of LED lights as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2019 Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport 1.5 Turbo SRI VX Line Nav. Thanks for watching and goodbye.